Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's, I'm going to call this a cricket chat. Um, I will be showing you three tips to help you learn how to shop for vinyl. Now, in particular, we will be talking about two types of vinyl, heat transfer vinyl and adhesive vinyl, because really those are the two most popular types. Now, before we get into it, you know what I need you to do. The three things. Hit the like, the subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week without fail. Today, I reached a milestone. I reached the 5,000 subscriber mark, and I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful for that. So thank you for if you are a returning subscriber, and welcome aboard if you are new to my channel. Hopefully you can see some of the vinyl that I have here hanging on my on my wall. This all of this right here is permanent adhesive vinyl. The and the other side is um, just rolls of heat transfer vinyl. But we will get into all of those things. I am going to be sharing three tips with you. So let's re get ready to get into it. As I indicated in the intro, this chat is all about how to shop for vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl, which is also called HTV, or adhesive vinyl, which is sometimes temporary and sometimes permanent, okay? Both of those are different types of adhesive vinyl. The first tip is, tip number one, vinyl is usually sold by the sheet, by the roll, or in a bundle, okay? So some examples of sheet sizes, you might get a 12 by 12 sheet, you might get a 12 by 24 sheet, 12 by 5 foot roll, 12 by 5 yard roll, or you might get bundles. These are what are considered as bundles, like if you get 5 rolls or 10 rolls or 15 rolls. Those are examples of bundles, okay? So let me give you an example of what a 12 by 24 sheet might look like on a package. So this is a package of Paper Studio Solid Iron On. Solid Iron On is the same thing as heat transfer vinyl. It's HTV. So if I'm looking at this and it says that it's 12 by 24 inches, then I know that that is two feet, okay? So if you think about a standard grip cutting mat, um, and I'll use this as my example. A standard grip cutting mat would be the same size as a 12 by 12 sheet because a standard grip cutting mat is 12 inches by 12 inches, okay? So 12 by 12 would be one sheet if I was looking at a sheet like that. If I was looking for a 12 by 24 sheet, it would just be like the size of a longer, a longer um, standard grip cutting mat like this. Let me show you what that, what that looks like like maybe like one of the longer mats, okay? If you had one of the 12 by 24, this is what a, this would be the same length as this, okay? Hopefully that, that makes sense to you. You're understanding what I'm saying, all right? So you have options when you are purchasing vinyl because you can decide if you wanna buy just a sheet of vinyl, you know, if you wanna buy a roll or if you wanna buy bundles. Of course, as with anything else, the, the more you buy, the less you pay in some cases, in most cases, all right? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to pay attention to what you're getting for, the, for your money. So let me zoom in because I want you to be able to understand what I'm going to say right here. When you're looking at vinyl, and I put this down here at the bottom, and I put a little asterisk next to it. HTV will always cost more. Let me move it up. HTV will always cost more than adhesive vinyl. HTV is heat transfer vinyl. So if you're going to need a heat source, that's HTV, or it's also called iron-on vinyl. When I say pay attention to what you're getting for your money, what I suggest you do, and something that I did not know when I first started crafting, and I, you know, I wish I did because if I did, I wouldn't have as much vinyl as I have because I would know how to, you know, shop smarter. The way that you can do it is to divide the cost of the roll 
by the number of feet in the row. For example, if you were getting a 12, and I'm going to use this one as an example, if I was getting a 12 inches by 24 inch row, that would be two feet. I take the cost of the roll. So for example, if the roll was $14, let's just say I went to the store and they say, okay, Delonda, this is $14. Then I would, I would take out my calculator and I would, and let me show you exactly what you can do because I want you to be informed. Let me get my calculator one. Okay, so if the roll costs $14, so I would do 14 and I would divide that by the number of feet. There are two feet in the roll, so divided by two, and that would mean each sheet or each foot is $7, okay? So think about that. Think about purchasing one sheet of vinyl for $7. That's kind of pricey, okay? That's, that's actually very pricey. So be mindful of that. Let me give you some other examples. So let's look at this roll right here. In the store, I paid $12.99 for this, okay? So let's look at that on the calculator. $12.99, and we're not taking into consideration coupons or special deals or sales or any of that. Let's just say I went to Hobby Lobby and I paid $12.99 for this. Well, $12.99 divided by the number of feet Okay, 12 by 24, can you see that? 12 by 24, that means that this is two feet because, you know, every time there's, you know, how many times is 12 going to 24? It goes in there two times. So 12.99 divided by two, that means that this was $6.49 per foot, okay? So, or per sheet. That's very expensive, so this was not a good deal. Now, even though this is not just regular HTV, this is holographic, Arnold, it, to, in my opinion, and, and I didn't know this ahead of time, this is expensive. Let's look at another example. Okay, so this is Paper Studio brand, this glitter iron-on. Let's just say it was $16.99, okay? $16.99. Uh oh, 16.99 divided by how many feet? Two feet. Divided by two feet, that means this was $8.49 per sheet or per um, foot. So that's also very expensive. Now I can promise you I didn't pay $16.99 because I know when I shop at Hobby Lobby and this is their brand, I always get it at a discount because I only buy their vinyl when it's on sale. Okay, so that's another example. Let me show you another one. This is Caesar, okay, it's Caesar Easy Weed Pink HTV, and this is a 12 by five foot roll, okay? So remember I said you can buy it by the roll, 12 by five feet, okay? And I paid $11.99 for this, 11.99 divided by five feet. So divided by five, that means I paid $2.39 per foot. This is an excellent deal. This would be a fantastic deal, right? Because I'm now I'm buying five feet and I'm, on, and I'm only paying $2.39 for it. In comparison to this one, I only got two feet and it was $8.49 per foot, okay? So you see there's a difference. I'm getting five feet right here and this is only two feet, okay? So you have to pay attention to what you're getting. Let me show you another example. Um, okay, here's another example. This one is also Caesar, okay? It's a Sparkle HTV. I know I paid $9.99 for it because I bought it when it was on sale. I bought this from, I want to say I bought this one from Joann's, okay? So, $9.99 divided by 36 inches. 36 inches is what? Three feet. So, $9.99 divided by three, $3.33 per foot, okay? So, while it seemed like a good deal, 
this is still more expensive than this because I only got three feet right here and on this one I got five feet okay so hopefully that makes sense or, or you're understanding what I'm saying okay so my tip number two is to always divide the cost of the roll by the number of feet in the roll okay so if I don't know if you need to screenshot this or you know go back to the video and look at my examples but pay attention to what you're getting so when you're looking at now so I gave you the examples for heat transfer vinyl and I remember I said HTV will always cost more than adhesive vinyl let me show you some examples of adhesive vinyl so this is the Cricut brand of permanent or premium vinyl okay it's permanent and it's glossy there are four feet in here 12 by 48 that's four feet of vinyl in here and it's four dollars so that means you're paying one dollar per foot okay so pay attention to what you're getting this is the orcal um this is orcal 651 which is also permanent adhesive vinyl there are five feet in here and the cost of this was five dollars and 99 cents okay so you know 5.99 you're going to divide that by five you're paying like right at a dollar and something per foot same thing as the cricket brand okay here's another one um this is the paper studio permanent vinyl okay 7.99 and there are four feet in here so $7.99 <clears throat> divided by 48 inches, which is four feet, you're paying right at $1.99 per foot. Okay, so we've looked at you know all different types of vinyl. We've looked at multiple options for you know heat transfer vinyl and permanent adhesive vinyl. These are some other packs of vinyl. This is this could be considered as a bundle too. So this one came with 45 sheets and it's 12 inches by 10 inches and it was $25.98. When I did the math on it, I did $25.98 divided by 45 sheets <clears throat> and it came out to be 57 cents per sheet. And this is um, heat transfer vinyl. I have always liked this brand. I, I actually, you know, I purchased this brand um, when I got, when I first started because, you know, it was a good deal and I like this vinyl. I, I still I still use it. This is another one that and this one came from Amazon. This is another example. This one is I don't know how to pronounce it. A R H I K Y 2399 42 sheets. So I did 2399. Let me show you on my calculator. 2399 divided by 42 sheets. Okay? It's 57 cents. So this is the same price as, as this really because this is 57 cents per sheet and this one is also 57 cents per sheet okay so now let's um, go ahead and move on to our next tip tip number three is to shop around and compare prices when you're getting ready to purchase vinyl look at your local stores and look at you know look online you are always going to pay more locally than you will online because online they you know they're going to sell it in bulk and they will be able to offer more deals okay some of the local store options you have are michael's hobby lobby joann's walmart i believe target also sells um vinyl and then some other local craft stores that you might have in your area. I know in my area, there's a section of town where I can go and buy um, just vinyl. It's not really necessarily a name brand, so I'm not even sure what, what the brand is. But there are lots of local craft stores that sell vinyl. When you're looking online, you have options like Expressions Vinyl, which is one of my top, top places to buy vinyl because this is where I get that you know the five foot rolls for $11.99 and I cannot I have not found it cheaper and I'm going to show you online after we finish this tip three the next thing we're going to do is go to look at some of the online places of course you can get it from Amazon you can get it from my craft source you can get it from 143 vinyl and I'm sure there are other 
online vendors or merchants okay all right so without further ado we're going to go right over to the computer and we're going to look at some of the online stores and compare the prices because they might look the same but I promise you they're not I'm going to show you how to look at those too okay so the first page that I will go to is the expressions vinyl page because I am going to show you four different websites and we're going to compare apples to apples I am going to only look at Caesar easy Weed and show you the price difference from each website that I show you actually we, we might look at five websites but let's see okay so I'm on expressions vinyl.com and I'm going to go to categories I'm going to go to heat transfer vinyl and I'm going to look at Caesar easy Weed heat transfer vinyl okay <clears throat> when I go to this site I can see different options. I can see 12 by 12 heat transfer. They're $3.25 per sheet. I can see 12 by 24 sheets. They are $6.25 per sheet. And I can see 12 by five foot rolls. These are $11.99 per roll, okay? Remember 11.99 divided by five would give me $2.39, okay? So if I just look at these three, you might want to write those down or, you know, put it, put them in your head or pause the video or, you know, just take notes on this part right here because I want you to compare the prices. It's important to compare prices. All right. So we're going to remember that on expressions and I'm going to even write it down for myself. The 12 by 12 sheets are 325. The 12 by 24 sheets are 625. And the 12 by 5 sheets are $11.99. And I'm looking at 12 by 5 feet, okay? They also have um, 12 by 5 yards right here. And those are $32.99, okay? Let's look at Caesar Heat Transfer Vinyl. Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl on uh 143vinyl.com okay so i can go to vinyl i can go to htv i can look at caesar htv caesar easy weed and i can just look at the different options so let's see how much a 12 by 12 sheet costs on uh, 143 vinyl okay so a sheet is also 325 on the 143 vinyl website but let's look again okay so this says 12 inches by 11.75. This is what I was saying when I said pay attention. This says actual size 12 by 11.75. Let's go back to expressions and look at it again. Okay. So if I click on this, let's see what it will say. Let's see the size. I pay attention to all of those things. Okay. This says the actual product width is 11.85 give or take 25 um a, a 25th a one fourth of an um inch okay so the actual size is 11.85 and on 143 vinyl the actual size is 11.75 okay so you might get a, a little bit wider here than you do over here okay so pay attention to that all right let's see how much the caesar easy weed 12 by 24 sheets are okay the 12 by 24 sheets are the same price six dollars and 25 cents and let's see how much the caesar easy weed 12 by 5 foot rolls okay okay over here they are 12 dollars and 75 cents so on expressions they were 11.99 and over here, they are $12.75. Okay, let's look on Amazon and see if we can find um, Caesar. I have my caps lock on. Caesar, okay, Caesar Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl. Okay, and these are 11 by 11.8 11 by 6 feet. We want 11.8 by five feet, okay? So on Amazon, I see it right here for $16.99, okay? That's kind of like shocking because we always think Amazon has the, you know, the best prices. 
All right, so that's something to take into consideration when you are thinking about purchasing from Amazon in comparison to purchasing from other sites. That's why I'm telling you to always just look around and pay attention. Okay, so on Amazon, the cheapest five foot roll is $16.99. Okay, let's look on Michael's. Okay, Caesar, Easy Weed, HTV. Okay, so Michael's sells it for, let me close that. Michael sells Caesar Easy Weed HTV, okay, for $11.39. We're gonna look at the, okay, so they have five yards. Let's see if they have five feet. Because if they have five yards, they should definitely have five feet, right? Let's see. Um, okay, so 11.8 by 60, that would be five, that's an eight pack, this is a mega roll, let's see what this is, why a mega roll, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, so it's on sale right now for $17.99 and it only has three stars, not sure why. Okay, so this is five feet and it is on sale for $17.99, okay? So on Michael's, it's even more expensive than it is on Amazon. There is one other store that I want to check Let's see, my craft source. Let's see what my craft source has. HTV, Caesar, Caesar Easy Weed. Um, let's see how much it costs there. Okay, 12. Okay, we want 12 by five. Not, not 12 by five yards though, we want 12 by five feet. 12 by 5 feet is also $11.99. Okay, and they, there's a size variance. So let's see what the size variance is. What the, tell us. <clears throat> okay. Okay, it doesn't tell us anymore. It looks like it's 12 by 5. Um, it looks like it's 12 by 5. <clears throat> okay, so on my craft source right now, it is $11.99, which is the same price that it is on um, Expressions Vinyl, okay? So same price. All right, so I think you get my drift. I think you understand what I wanted to show you that um, you have options and that you should also, you know, always do your research to see what you're getting and check the value for the money um, and not just be eager to buy, buy, buy because that is, you know, in the long run, it's, it's not going to be cost effective. Okay. Let me close this out and share my final thoughts. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, we reviewed three tips for how to shop for vinyl. Tip number one was that, you know, vinyl is sold by the sheet or by the roll or in bundles. Tip number two was to pay attention to what you're getting for your money and that HTV will always cost more than adhesive vinyl. I gave you some examples. I showed you how to figure out how much you're paying per foot because remember a sheet is the same thing as one foot. Um, I also told you to shop around and compare prices. I showed you four different websites looking at the same exact vinyl, the Caesar Easy Weed, so that you can make an informed decision. All right, so hopefully, you know, you're able to make some good decisions as you're shopping this Christmas season or at any time of the year when you're shopping for vinyl, especially if you are a new Cricut owner because these are things that 
I wish I knew before I started, I did not know. And I want you to have all of the knowledge so you can make an informed decision. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and do the three things, all three of them. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week without fail. I just reached my 5,000 subscriber mark today. Today is December 16th, so if you're watching today, thank you so much. Um, at any rate, thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!